Your Excellency Sir, it is now my honor and privilege to invite Madam Betty Miner to take over the program. Thank you, sir. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, uh, Cabinet Secretary Designate, the Honorable Moses Kuria. I've seen my Senator here, Senator for uh, Kericho, Secretary General, and everybody else who is present here, and especially the team from KTDA. We are really honored, Your Excellency, that you found time to come and witness this occasion and demonstrate the importance of trade and the importance of smallholders in our country. We are very, very honored. I know you've been very busy, but this is a real uh, milestone. As has been mentioned, this is really part and parcel of our trade within Africa, and the Secretary General has outlined the vision that you as our leaders have, and it is for us uh, to implement. I just want to confirm to you, Your Excellency, that Kenya has taken its place very seriously in these negotiations, and we've been some of the uh, first movers. So what you're witnessing today is a demonstration of that energy. This pilot initiative of guided trade under the CFTA has been preceded by preparations in our country. I want to confirm that our trade facilitation agencies, the Revenue Authority, the Bureau of Standards, and all related have aligned themselves and have prepared the necessary documentation to support. But this is being supported directly also by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I expect that our ambassador will be on the other side to facilitate, to make sure, because this is something new for us, so sometimes our people might not have taken that amount of time to align, but the governments who are taking this initiative have, you know, have decided that we will make sure this works, and more will be coming and joining on board. As we've briefed you before, we have identified other markets um, in Mauritius, in Cameroon, uh, in Egypt, of products that we will be piloting under this initiative, and my colleague who is uh, taking over from this role will have the responsibility of supplying you with a report on what is being done. I really want to thank you. I know it's, uh, and I, I would have liked to invite my colleague to just wave, but I'm aware of the processes that, that we must go through. And with that, Your Excellency, it is my humble duty to invite you to address this uh, gathering, Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Betty, and uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let's take our seats. Asante Nisana. Uh, first, it gives me great pleasure to be here this morning, uh, to be part of this historic occasion, as has been said ably by the Secretary General of uh, Africa uh, Continental Free Trade Area, this event today it marks the first step in a journey that will liberate our continent from export of raw material to the rest of the world to export of processed, manufactured products, not just to our continent, but to the rest of the world. This is a very significant step. And when we began the journey to consolidate the market in Africa and provide the infrastructure using the FTA statute, 
it looked like it was a dream. But today, we are living that dream as reality. This first step is historic in the sense that we now can harvest the returns of the huge market, the one billion uh, people market in our continent. The infrastructure provided by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area of making it easier for us to overcome all barriers to trade and all barriers to doing business with ourselves in this continent is a very significant uh, step in making Africa overcome its challenges of investment and its challenges of trade. I am very happy that it is the farmers who have made this first step a reality. And I'm saying it is the ordinary farmers. You've heard that KTDA is a consolidation of 650,000 farmers, most of them on under one acre of production of tea. And it's amazing how ordinary people, a farmer on one acre, can make Africa continental free trade area a reality. That is the power of unity. That's the power of consolidation. That is the power of aggregation. And that's the power of working together. So I look forward to many, many more steps in our journey to ensuring that we grow the intra-trade in our continent from the current 15 to 18 percent to where other continents are, upwards of 50 percent. I know that it will require a lot of political goodwill, as has been said here. It will require a lot of uh, building of confidence between uh, our business people, our entrepreneurs, and our investors. But I stand here as one of the policymakers that we undertake that we will do our bit as policymakers to make this a reality. So, Mr. Secretary General, you have Kenya on board. Kenya believed in the Africa Continental Free Trade Area from the beginning. I think there is normally a debate as to which country signed and ratified the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. I think the action of today that Kenya has taken the first step confirms that Kenya indeed was the first country to ratify and deposit the instruments of ratification uh, because we believe from the beginning that this is the way to liberate our continent from underdevelopment. We will continue to work with all partners in our continent. I want to take this occasion Mr. Secretary General, to ask our brothers and sisters in this continent that it is indeed in our interest that we actualize the benefits that come with the infrastructure that is being built by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area so that our continent can take its rightful place as a mover in the economy of the world. Africa today only contributes 3% of trade in the whole world. It is time that we occupy our rightful place. And I believe that Africa Continental Free Trade Area gives us the platform to be able to actualize our dream of taking Africa to this rightful place in matters trade 
in matters investment and in matters business. Um, I am acutely aware that majority of the farmers, whether it's tea or coffee, many of them are small-scale farmers. And small-scale farmers have done their best to put our country in the map. They are the pride of our exports. They contribute. 90% of all the tea we export is grown by farmers on one acre, half an acre. And this year, we earned 1.1 billion shillings. 1.1 billion dollars, sorry. 1.1 billion dollars from the export of tea. That is significant. That is what consolidation does. That is what aggregation does. And that is why I have intentionally set up two ministries, one for trade, investment, and industry, and another one for cooperatives and SME development, because that is the space that gives us 80% of our jobs and drives our economy and our GDP significantly. I look forward to working with the whole array of uh, sector players in this, in this space, and specifically working with our farmers to begin with. Our very first intervention on farmers, and I discussed this with KTDA, is to try and reduce the cost of production so that we can enhance our productivity. Progressively, progressively, we are going to work with our farmers so that we can better support them in production. I have said we are going to make a conscious decision to support our production and not to subsidize our consumption. That is the trajectory we are going, and that is why I want to ask uh, our farmers uh, progressively that we are going to be working with you. The government of Kenya will work with you towards enhancing our productivity and increasing our production of the cross-section of all the um, items that we produce. As the chairman has said, um, the government of Kenya has already worked on the fertilizer components. I know we have, um, the, mini, the, the government has made available about 3.5 billion shillings so that our farmers can have access to fertilizer at a fairly reduced price of 3,500. We are still working with the producers of fertilizer, we want to see whether we can take this fertilizer down to between 2,500 and, uh, and 3,000. That is our trajectory. And it's not just for tea, it's for all our farmers, whether they are doing coffee or they are doing wheat or maize or all the other cereals in that, in that space. Secondly, I have already had a discussion with industry players in the tea sector. They have raised a couple of issues, matters to do with taxation. I want to undertake that our next agenda, when um, we will be discussing our budget, is to eliminate any barriers in the tea sector that come as a result of matters taxation. We are going to look at the cost-benefit analysis on VAT on tea. 
whether it is helping the farmers or it is stifling our uh, value addition agro-processing trajectory. I have also had a conversation on emerging markets, markets for tea, orthodox tea, and I have been informed that KTDA may require some support so that we can capture the market on orthodox tea. I have given undertaking that in the next two weeks, I want a proposal from KTDA so that we can provide the resources for KTDA to make it possible for more farmers to produce orthodox tea so that we can access that market and take advantage of what is going on uh, globally, especially in the orthodox tea space. Wana Chairman, I will be expecting a proposal from you on what you want us to do, the kind of resources that you expect from us, and I have already told you that we will make those resources available because we want to take our tea to the next level. The other two very important things that we must do is to develop a Kenyan brand of tea. We need a brand, a Kenyan brand. And we are going to work with Keteba, we are going to work with all the other players so that together we can focus. For a very long time, Kenya has produced tea that has helped everybody brand their low quality tea. I think it is time we help ourselves. We have helped everybody, which is fine, but it is time we ourselves take the advantage of our good quality tea and brand it, and anybody else who wants to use our good quality tea must come and work with us. So the ministry The instructions to you are very clear. We must have a Kenyan branded product in tea that we can market, and it doesn't matter what form it takes. I am going to be available, and the government of Kenya is going to be available until we have that brand of tea so that we can be selling our tea. Number two, in the next five years, we must move our value-added tea from 5% to 50%. Today, we are adding value to only 5% of our tea. I want to tell the ministry, it's not going to be business as usual. We are going to move our value-added tea for export from 5% to 50%, at the minimum. I am talking about at the minimum. Because you've heard for yourselves, our competitors are producing maybe 60% uh, of, 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 of quantities like us, but they are earning three times because they are adding value. And I want to announce here that the government of Kenya is going to work with the industry players so that in Dongokundu we can have a common user facility that the government of Kenya is going to invest in so that we can process, we can package, and we can value add our tea out of uh, the Dongokundu um, uh, uh, facility. I think KTDA is already aware, and I'm sure all the other players are aware. That way, even the smallest of our producers can have access to a value add addition facility without major investments. Um, let me also say that 
all these interventions, we are going to be working with industry players. I am very clear in my mind where we need to take this in terms of tea, in terms of coffee, and all the other cereals that we are engaging in and all the other products that we are working with. We not only want to leverage on the infrastructure provided to us by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, we're going to look at other markets. There is absolutely no reason why people in the African continent go to buy tea from other markets when we have our own very high quality tea that we can provide to them at the same price at which they are buying tea uh, from other I expect the ministry to take this to the next level. Apart from Ghana, I expect us to have a conversation uh, with Cameroon. I expect us to have a conversation, the same conversation with Tunisia, with Morocco, and all the other major tea importing countries in our continent so that we can give them the opportunity to drink the best tea in the world from Kenya. I think it is unfair. I think it's unfair for our brothers and sisters in this continent to drink low quality tea when they can have the best quality tea from their own brothers and sisters from Kenya. So I look forward to us working on this uh, project and program so that we can actualize um, the aspirations of our country and also of the many ordinary farmers around our country or across our country who want a better uh, income from their tea and coffee. I want to encourage all our farmers. Many of them, sometimes they get discouraged because of what they see in the market. I want to tell them we're going to support them, we're going to stand by them, we're going to make sure that they can produce more, and we're going to make sure that there, there will be value for the tea they produce, and their earnings will increase. That's the trajectory which we want to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me not say more than that. Let me congratulate our brothers from Ghana. Um, we appreciate that Ghana has not only been friends to Kenya, but they are willing for us to take our friendship and uh, our collaboration to the next level. When we do business together, we become even greater friends. So I hope the business people in Kenya and the business people in Ghana will seize this opportunity, make money, create prosperity, create jobs, but most importantly, make sure our farmers get a better return for their product. So, Asante Sana, and I look forward to working with all of you as we uh, forge ahead into uh, the future uh, together. Asante Sana. Shukran, uh, shukran Zadati Mwishmiwa Rais. Tafadhali kwa rusa yako kabla uondoke. Ninaomba uweze kupewa zawadi ambayo umeweza kuandaliwa na mwenyekiti wa Ketepa bwana John wa Susana nae uh, group CEO KTDA bwana Wilson Mudhaura. Tafadhali mheshimiwa rais kubali zawadi hiyo. Asante asante sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kukubali tuzo uh, zawadi hiyo ambayo kwa hakika walinichuna wakaniambia usije ukaikata. Kwa sasa ningeomba kwa ruhusa ya kum
多层次。